Hey guys, welcome back to the ESP32 and LVGL series. In today's video, we will learn how to use the graph widget to display graphs with the DHT22 sensor. First, go to the widget tab and scroll down to the visualizer section. Select the graph widget and drag it into the design area. Adjust the size and position to fit the screen. In the chart section, I choose the chart type. There are three types, line, bar, and scatter. Here I select line. In the number of points section, I set it to 20 points. This can be adjusted based on the screen size. The next two sections are for adjusting number of rows and columns. The more rows and columns combined with points, the more detailed the chart will be. Depending on the size and resolution of your screen, adjust these settings accordingly. In the x-axis section, set the minor tick count to 1. I set the major tick count to 20 points on the x-axis and the major tick length to 0. You can hide or show the labels on the x-axis. In this case, I don't use the labels on the x-axis, so I will hide them. Next, in the primary y-axis section, this axis is used to determine the temperature range. I set the min-max levels of the chart. As you can see, I set 25 as the minimum and 50 as the maximum. I set the minor tick count to 1, the major tick length to 5, and the major tick count to 10. Moving on to the secondary Y axis, which represents humidity levels. I also set the min max levels here, with the lowest value at 25 and the highest value at 80. For the major tick length, major tick count, and minor tick count sections, I set them similarly to the primary Y axis section, which are 5, 10, and 1, respectively. Next, in the chart data section, choose the color for this data bar. In the axis section, select the primary Y for temperature. Click Add Series to add a new data bar, which will represent the humidity display. Choose the color you prefer, and in the axis section, select Secondary Y. For the value section in the data area, we don't need it, so just delete it. This value will be replaced by the reading from the sensor. You can customize the colors of the chart in the style settings section. Feel free to choose the colors to your liking. You don't have to be the same as mine. I added a few labels to display temperature and humidity values as text. I've already covered this in several videos in the series. You can review the previous videos. I'll fast forward through this part. So the UI design part is complete. Next, go to the file, select project settings, choose the folder to export the UI, and export the UI files. These will be used for the firmware. The next part involves editing the firmware to work well with the hardware. First, go to the file lvconfig.h, declare the font you used in Squareline Studio, and change it to 1 if using. Return to the main.cpp file, declare the GPIO pin for the DHT sensor. Here I select GPIO 26. Next, we move to the uiscreen.c file to modify some functions for displaying the graph. As you can see, currently the graph variable is local. To use it in other files, such as main.cpp, you need to make it a global variable. Delete the line LV chart series T, 4 series 1 and 2. Only keep UI chart series 1 and 2. 
for the UI Chart 1 series array. Go to Squareline Studio, check the X axis section. The major tick count value is set to 20. So you need to input that value into the UI Chart 1 series variable, as shown in the video, for the graph to update according to the sensor value. The next step is to extern the graph variables in the UI.h file to avoid undefined errors when using them. Return to the main.cpp file, create a timer function LV timer to update the sensor value and the graph. I created a function named DHT timer. In the LVGL documentation, you can find the command to read the graph values. Copy it and insert it into the main.cpp file within the void DHT timer function to replace the values. Replace the values in order. The name of the graph in this example it is UI Chart 1. Next is the series data, which is the primary Y line you drew in Square Line Studio. And finally, the sensor value, which is the temperature value here. Similarly, for the secondary Y line, the value here is humidity. Next, we need to refresh the chart each time a new value is updated using the command LV chart refresh. Add the object to the command, which is UI chart 1. The next step is to display the sensor values as text for better visualization. To do this, I will copy the code from the previous video and replace the labels. I have made a detailed video about this. Please check the top right corner of the screen. Move the LV timer command to the void setup section to ensure the chart and sensor work at the same time. Here, I set the update interval to 2 seconds, which you can change as needed. That completes the process. You can now build and upload it to the ESP32. The graph should work perfectly. The next part is a guide on adding a faded area effect to the chart. You can skip if it's not necessary. First, go to LVGL documentation, copy all the lines as shown in the video, then return to the UI screen.c file and paste them there, and paste it above the void UI screen 1 function. Go back to the documentation and continue copying the two lines LV add event and LV chart set update. Replace the chart name with the name you've given to the chart. In this example, I named it UI chart 1. Next, I'll build and upload it to the ESP32. The next part will show the results of the above process. If you find the video helpful and enjoyable, please leave a like and share, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get updates on the next video. Thank you all.